हाईलाइट चैनल ऑफ द रणवीर शो दिस इज टी आर एस क्लिप्स विच इंडियन सेलिब्रिटी शुड लीड आवर कंट्री एज अ पॉसिबल पी एम एंड वाई आई हैव एन आंसर आई हैव अ वेरी सॉलिड आंसर महेंद्र सिंह धोनी सेम सेम दैट वॉज माई आंसर रूमर्स से दैट ही इज इंटरेस्टेड इन अ पोलिटिकल करियर वाओ आई कैन बिलीव आई कैन बिलीव वी हैव द सेम थॉट Yeah, I can't think of I can't think of anyone else. I can't think of anyone else. Wow, <laughs> because he's also got a very solid business career. Hmm. He understands branding. He's obviously a master of people skills. He's obviously a master of taking pressure. Oh yes, he is. He's obviously like extremely activated in the head. Yes, always doing things. Yes, multitasking in the head, wicket keeping, positions, strategy, tactics, talking, yeah. so much at at one go. He'd be everything that most of Pakistan dreamt Imran Khan could be. Oh yes, definitely. I don't think there's a single Indian who'd oppose that idea of MS Dhoni becoming. I can't think of anybody who PM. would, in the right mind, oppose Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Just the thought of MS Dhoni as a PM. Oh yeah. Draw out a picture. So that guy can take pressure, and he can think in terms of multiple dimensions, not physical dimensions, but the same issue from multiple angles, from the perspective of of a wicketkeeper, of a captain, as a bowler. Think in terms of how the opposition is seeing this, and then try to outfox them, outwit them. Think in terms of a single over. Think in some terms of a single innings. Think in terms of a five-day test match, or think think in terms of a series or an entire World Cup campaign. You, he's a guy who has done this, who has proven himself. So he can. He's certainly a guy who can think of uh, leadership in terms of a five-year stretch, maybe, and t- think of all the different angles, geopolitical angles, economic angles. You can transpose the same skills into different domains. So I think he would be a fantastic guy to to take up such a Think if it ever happens, I'd be very happy. Yeah, I don't think he'd find opposition from anyone in the country. He should not. I mean, nobody in the right mind would oppose somebody like him. Yeah, yeah. There were a lot of anti Dhoni people when his career was at its peak. You know, after the 2011 World Cup. Okay. But if anyone goes mainstream, <coughs> DRS, uh, there is always opposition to it. Like <laughs> when you go mainstream, you'll always find people who like try to pull you down. Yes. The moment he retired, and we've gone into this whole. Thing about different captains and all that for India. Now people are realizing what MSD did for the three formats in cricket. Yes. Ah, uh, I strongly feel his value has increased even more uh, than what it was earlier. I'd probably put him at par with Sachin Tendulkar as a cricket icon. Oh, definitely. Right. Yes. Yes. They both like equal. Like one's the god of cricket, one is MS Dhoni. Sachin is a saint-like figure in some sense, you know. Like Messi. Like, yeah, like Messi. I mean, a guy who is unreproachable from any angle. and mahendra singh dhoni is more like a people's person more salt of the earth very approachable very relatable he came from a very humble background not like sachin did not but mahendra singh dhoni is a whole different flavor he was a ticket collector uh, at one point in time you know um when sanjeev sanyal was on the show he mm-hmm. said that pm modi's main focus throughout his tenure was is and will be infrastructure because mm-hmm. that's what was lacking in india okay and there's a lot of anti modi people who criticize the government for thousands of reasons you go out to small town india you see how roads are getting developed and by small town india i mean towns as small quote unquote as even banaras see what's happened around banaras see how the airport has developed see the road that leads up to the airport and this is all of india infrastructure is getting aggressively created once your infrastructure is there you have the ability to do a lot more that's the india i'd like to see dhoni inherit at some point oh absolutely so like you say like you rightly say there is this massive focus on building infrastructure we are building 50 kilometers of highways per day every single day we are building airports everywhere we are building new railway lines all these new trains are coming up we are building ports we are building so many things and and it's really transforming the country i believe this nation is on the verge of a quantum leap okay jacob it's, Jacob yes that's what Mr Modi is doing that's what Prime Minister Modi is investing in and people who live in a certain city and see the world the world from that perspective will see what's happening here yahan kuch nahi ho raha hai but you know what go outside and travel and you will see i have been to ladakh recently you can see the border roads organization working day and night in snow and in freezing temperatures con- constructing new roads everywhere which is why most of the extreme left is in south delhi and south mumbai <laughs> yeah 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 True. because that's their world yeah that's their world that's that's how they see the world from mm. that microcosm from cosm from that prism so we have to go outside and see i think within a few years this decade by the end of this decade india is going to be completely transformed 
we have not just that we have the complete electrification of the entire country more or less we have the upi that's come in in the from 2016 until 2022 more than 150 million indians have been brought out of extreme poverty this is not indian data this is world bank or imf data that is the biggest poverty eradication problem in pro program in human history most likely 150 million people is not a small number you can't imagine a number like that out of extreme poverty save dhoni is the pm 10 years from now you want to paint any picture there's going to be a geopolitical angle there for sure i think he'd actually be a fantastic geopolitical uh, strategist at that point would you agree i would agree so take take a look at the the time period when he was the captain at that time india did not have the most, best bowling attack he was often forced to rely on suresh raina to bowl 10 overs suresh raina is a part time off spinner but often he would have to bowl 10 overs in a, in a one one day match odi match so he had limited bowling options he did not have the fearsome fast bowling attack later captains would have like like kohli and yet he was able to do so much he was able to win an entire world cup with that limited bowling attack so he knows how to make the most of limited resources imagine if you gave him a fearsome fast bowling attack what he would have done with that so imagine he becomes the captain or the the prime minister or the leader of india by 2030 india is going to be a whole different beast by then it's going to have a fearsome fast bowling attack so to say in terms of real world capabilities imagine dhoni with that how much he could do so dhoni some people would say was a conservative captain he was more defensive and he was more like he was extra extraordinarily aggressive batsman when he came in but later on he became a run accumulator he focused on defense first and off offense that makes a, a lot of sense from a from a strategic purpose sun tzu said that if you, you your first job is to ensure that nobody can defeat you and then you think of victory you plug in all the gaps in your armor the chinks in your armor and then once you have done that then you can think of defeating the opponent so i think dhoni would be great at that i think he would be a brilliant uh, uh, leader of people not just in on the cricket field but outside because he has the people skills and i think he will see things that the people can't realistically speaking from a political perspective would he have to serve as say the cm of jharkhand first and then kind of graduate typically you have to prove your metal and you have to pay your dues politically so in a previous podcast you asked me about mr rahul gandhi and what i thought about him i said that he is not a proven leader because he has never had held such a position like the chief minister of a state or something so we don't know what his track record is and we have no yardstick by with with which we can judge his actual abilities so we don't know he's kind of an unknown quantity unfortunately so i would say that yes if mr Mod, uh, mr dhoni were to come into politics and would aspire hopefully perhaps to become prime minister someday then maybe he should, he should serve at least 5 5 years as the chief minister of jharkhand that would make a lot of sense like for instance we are looking at mr yogi as a perhaps potential prime minister well he is now proving himself in the largest state in india a state with the same population or, or larger population than the united states and he's doing a fantastic job so mr dhoni if he has to come into politics i think it, it it makes a lot of sense for him to first serve a term at least one term as a chief minister he is still very young in in politics 40s is very young it's like a child so i think he's got a lot of time ahead of him and yeah that that's one way he could go about doing it okay latest by 2053 oh that's a long time away maybe maybe by 2035 mm okay yeah maybe imagine having a young pm imagine having a fucking dhoni like imagine the, that like no oh, wow okay i would vote for him yeah yeah 100% yeah perhaps even if it was a new political party i am i don't care yeah as long as they can get the work done i think all of india would vote for him see look uh, from the perspective of a perspective of a new political party leaders need a team you may be the best leader in the world but if you don't have the right team then you're not going to be that effective if you have a new political party with the, which is still figuring things out and you know creating the power structure the, the leadership structure and the and the and the ranks and file then he may not be that effective leadership is most effective when you have the, when you have the right team i think you know you're a leader here right so i think it makes more sense for mr dhoni to if he were to take the plunge into politics to get into one of the established political parties with a proper predefined and well oiled structure yeah i would join that political war <laughs> or happily leave youtube and join dhoni and build the country right just saying mahi ji okay anyway so these are playlists made especially for you we've tailor made learning experiences for you the rs clips